Hi friends, in the last session we have discussed that output statements and we have observed that some of the cases uh, how we can use the print statements okay with the arguments without arguments and end attribute and uh, and uh, replacement operator like uh, we observed some of the cases right with variable number of arguments and uh, uh, with without arguments variable number of arguments in the attribute and we can pass list tuple setter also pass an arguments to the print statements in python okay so we can uh, use all this when we are printing some information on the console okay now today we are focusing on flow control okay now we are focusing on today flow control flow control concept okay flow control concept is nothing but flow control describes the order in which the statements will be executed at a run time okay let me write some information first flow control describes okay flow control describes the order flow control describes the order in which statements will be executed in which statements will be executed at a runtime flow control describes the order in which the statements will be executed at a runtime okay flow control means uh, there are some if conditional statement transfer statements and iterative statements so just like this okay uh, if you observe here if you observe here first uh, control flow flow control means a uh, control flow so it is divided into conditional statements next one next one is a transfer statement and a iterative statements in that conditional statement is classified into three types okay first one is if next one is a if a elif and a third one is a if a elif else okay next coming to transfer statements also transfer statement means uh, first one is a uh, break second one is a uh, continue and uh, third one will be pass okay iterative statements means uh, for and uh, while okay so control flow intention will be it describes the order in which the statements will be executed at a run time okay now we'll observe how what is the flow how it will execute like okay first we'll go for conditional statement okay first we'll go for conditional statements next we'll go for transfer statements next iterative statements okay if you take any language flow control concept is the recommended concept because if you are using any information 10 times that we can control by using iterative statements okay that we can con control by using iterative statements okay suppose you want to print some information 10 times okay that time we have to go for iterative statements so base, based on your for loop or while loop okay transfer statement means so you are repeating some information at some time you need to break you need to break the statement you need to continue or you need to pass okay that is next conditional statement means so if i want if we, if some condition is true i need to execute if not execute another one if not execute another one. so any condition is not matched last print conditions are not matching like uh, in that case we have to go for conditional statements okay next uh, what conditional coming to now first uh, conditional statements concept okay first uh, conditional statements concept means conditional statements okay conditional statements coming to conditional statements means what are there one if next second one will be if elif if elif third if elif comma else if elif else okay first we have to go for if concept okay first we have to go for if 
so if condition is nothing but if condition is true then only statement will be executed okay first if condition is true condition condition is true condition is true then only statement will be executed okay then only statement will be executed okay if condition is true then only statement will be executed okay now observe in which case we will use this concept okay now observe here i i will write one program okay now observe carefully from today onwards i am going to write each and every program in front of you okay in front of you i will write the program you will get much confident on pro on programmer okay i will give confident on that i will give clarity on that i will give uh, perfectness on the subject okay be patiency when you are learning something okay now let me write i am using if condition to if condition is true then only statement will be executed so i am taking name is equal to input of input of enter enter name okay enter name when i am typing n name equals to input of enter name i am i am asking that if name is equal to name double equal to sai kumar okay if name equal to sai kumar then then print that print condition matched okay condition matched or condition matched string condition matched string is condition matched and string is name okay and uh, i'm printing some information name comma how are you okay name comma how are you okay you observed right print statement i'm using variable number of arguments okay condition separated by comma next variable okay if you are writing any information in the print statement every statement after should be separated by comma okay make sure if you are giving if you are not giving any comma or any spelling mistake you are going to get syntax error okay now i am running this program now observe here enter name sai i am giving okay so we are not getting anything okay i am giving something other okay not getting anything okay i'm giving rajesh okay i'm not getting anything but if i give sai kumar okay if i give sai kumar so now in this case we are going to get condition matched and string is how sai kumar okay and sai kumar how are you okay that's what we are getting right and the output will be output next <clears throat> next next the same program with the if elif okay i am taking only if elif only suppose what i am taking here is if elif that means the for the same program i want to take if elif if elif if elif if name equal to sai kumar means this is the string okay i am taking if elif elif name is equal to sai k 
ओके एलिफ साई नेम इक्वल टू साई के सो इफ इट इस इफ दिस स्ट्रिंग मैच सो व्हाट आई हैव टू प्रिंट है how are you okay if you observe first case different and second case if the string is matched i'm printing some other way okay you know right so variable number of arguments and every argument is separated by comma okay make sure here i forgot here okay i forgot here we are going to get syntax error okay observe here if you observe here syntax error invalid syntax maybe you mean okay two mistakes i did what is the first mistake here i have to give double quotes okay first one second one here also we will get error now observe okay giving right now what i am doing comma enter name Sai K. Hey Sai K, how are you? Okay, Hey Sai K, how are you? Now observe here. Now here, what I am doing means. Suppose here what I am taking, if name equal to Sai Kumar means this condition is executing. If Sai K means this condition is executing. But if I am giving something other, okay? If I am giving something other means enter name. I am giving Rajesh. Okay, nothing. If I'm giving, this, okay, I'm not getting anything. If I'm giving, not getting anything. Okay. So until it matches something, until it matches something, it will give. It will not give anything because we didn't write any else statement. Okay. Until unless condition matches, then only the statement will be executed. Okay. So let me keep this output also. Clear, right? So in the next session, I am going to explain if elif else. Okay, if elif else. In the next session, I'm going to explain if, elif, else. So after that, you will get some confident in the subject how we are writing the code. Okay, conditional statements means uh, if the condition is matched, then only statement will be executed. Okay, if not condition matched means uh, then only last statement will be executed if you return. If you are not writing any default statement, so it will not get anything it will not print anything information in the console okay thank you friends if you are watching for channel for the first time please subscribe to my channel okay thank you